a man who has hit more than 500 sixes in international cricket he has the most number of double centuries in international cricket he is the record holder for the highest odi score how did a part time spinner turn into such a destructive batsman let's check out the life story of india's ultimate hitman rohit gurunath sharma Rohit Sharma was born on April 30th 1987 in Nagpur Maharashtra. He is the son of Gurunath Sharma and Purnima Sharma. Like many Indians, he was cricket crazy as a child. In 1999, fortunes changed for him as his uncle enrolled him in a cricket camp due to a lack of financial support at home. Here he encountered a special influence in Dinesh Lad, the camp's coach. He saw Sharma's potential and suggested he switch to the Swami Vivekanand International School in Mumbai. He knew that as head coach at the new school, he could develop Sharma's talent with the help of better cricket facilities. The coach encouraged Rohit to open the innings and trained him without charging a fee, laying the groundwork for Sharma's early professional career. With hard work and good fortune, Rohit shone in the Harrison Giles Shield school cricket competitions. smashing a century as an opener in his debut match despite his cricket fever rohit didn't compromise on his studies and later went to the rizvi college of arts science and commerce to finish his graduation sharma's domestic career took off in march 2005 when he made his list a debut for west zone against central zone in the deodhar trophy during this tournament he had a stand out moment smashing an impressive 142 runs off 123 balls against north zone in udaipur little did people know that this knock was just the beginning of what would become an illustrious cricket journey rohit sharma made his international debut in 2007 against ireland he would have to wait for his first real contribution because of india's strong side he made his t20 debut the same year and was a natural fit A notable contribution was the 2007 T20 World Cup final in South Africa. In a tight contest, he scored 30 runs off 16 balls, giving India a respectable total against Pakistan in Johannesburg. India's total of 157 for 5 from 20 overs was critical as they defeated Pakistan by 5 runs in a thrilling game. A huge competition for places meant that he was left out of the 2011 World Cup squad. But this was not the end of the story. Captain MS Dhoni recognized his potential and prompted him up the order in 2013. India won the Champions Trophy with Sharma making some excellent contributions. His outstanding performances in the 2015 and 2019 Cricket World Cups cemented his place in the squad. He was officially named vice captain of the Indian team for the 2019 Cricket World Cup in England. He also won the World Cup Golden Bat Award, scoring 648 runs and matching legend Sachin Tendulkar's record for the most centuries in the World Cup. At number 1, Sharma was a crucial member of the Indian team that achieved their first ever test series victory in Australian soil in 2018. It was the third test match which proved crucial. Sharma came in at number 6 in the first innings and made a crucial unbeaten score of 63 runs. from 114 balls to help india to 443 for 7 declared the indians ended up defeating australia by 137 runs in their first ever series victory down under number 2 sharma is distinguished for being the only indian to score a t20 international century playing as a captain remarkably he did this 3 times against sri lanka the west indies and more recently against afghanistan As joint leading T20 international century scorer, this feat is going to take some beating. At number 3, he made his test debut against the West Indies at Eden Gardens in Kolkata in 2013, the same year that Sachin Tendulkar retired. He scored 177 runs in his debut match, making it one of a kind experience. This was only the second highest debut century by an Indian, and it was a fitting tribute to the retiring little master. At number 4, Sharma is one of the most prolific century makers in one day international cricket with 30 hundreds. He is only third behind Sachin Tendulkar with 49 centuries and Virat Kohli with 46 centuries. It may only be a short matter of time before he catches up with them and he still has some years in the tank. At number 
In October 2019 at Ranchi in India, he scored his 2000th test run and his first double century in the same test match against South Africa. It was a phenomenal knock consisting of 212 runs of 255 balls, 28 fours and 6 six sixes. At number 6, He is just the second Indian after teammate Suresh Raina to score a century in all three international formats namely test cricket, one day international and international T20 cricket. At number 7, Rohit has the highest individual score in a one day international with an outstanding innings. It is one of the most rewatched limited over innings with Sharma in swashbuckling form against Sri Lanka at Eden Gardens in 2014. He made it a day to forget for the Sri Lankan bowlers, scoring 264 runs off of 173 balls. In this massive innings, he scored 33 boundaries and 9 sixes in an unforgettable performance. Finally at number 8, he is the only batsman in the world to have scored 3 double centuries in one day internationals. He did this against Australia in 2013 and then Sri Lanka twice. The first one we have just mentioned and then he performed the feat yet again in 2017. Rohit's batting style is pure elegance. His knack for effortlessly hitting sixes earned him the nickname Hitman. If you like this video, you're going to love the next one. We are going to do a Rohit Sharma compilation video taking you to his greatest moments in T20 international cricket and the Indian Premier League. In the meantime, Check out some of these player compilations on Cricket Crafter and learn about some more amazing players.